Good morning, everybody. I'm Shane Chacha here with another health supplement tip for the day. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but right now I think everybody's turning to YouTube and the internet to find out what supplements people are taking for this virus that's going around. Um, it's kind of a crazy time. I work here at Nutrition House North Hill in Calgary, Alberta, and we have another store at South Center. Businesses are still open as of now. I'm making this at, oh geez, it's about 8.30 on March 18th. A lot of stores around us are closing down and the city's in a state of emergency. But people are still coming into the health food store. Business is actually excellent. So I'm gonna tell you what people are kind of picking up right now um, to keep themselves nice and healthy. And uh, yeah, I mean, people wanna know what can I take? So the number one thing that basically everybody's been flocking into our store for is colloidal silver. So colloidal silver, um, kind of a natural anti antibiotic but um, I guess people are finding out that it's really good for this virus that's coming up um, and it's it's yeah we're, we're going through cases of colloidal silver so a huge huge seller uh, another supplement that a lot of people are using is because this is affecting your respiratory is a very popular stuff called Respiractin. Respiractin, I've made a video on it in the past about um, when there's a lot of smoke in the air because we get forest fires around here so a lot of people can't breathe in the summer. So you take this and it helps to uh, open up the airways, help to clear out the lungs. So it's very, very good for to relieve sore throats and um, help with your lungs and all that type of stuff. So Respiractin, very hot seller right now along with colloidal silver. Um, what else is selling really big is anytime there's a cold or flu uh, going around, um, something that's been very difficult to keep on the shelves right now is elderberry. Elderberry has been shown to help fight the flu and uh, help viral uh, stuff. So yeah, elderberry, very good stuff. Now, on my shelves right now, you may only find elderberry for kids. It's fine, you just take kind of the maximum dose as an adult and uh, it will definitely do the trick. So it's just how they have to label things in Canada. Even if it says kids, don't worry, you can take it. It's gonna keep you nice and healthy. What else do we have here that everybody's coming in for? Number one supplement sells all year long to keep everybody healthy is oil of oregano. Antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic. It kind of does everything. So how do you take oil of oregano? I say take one third of the dropper full under your tongue, hold it there as long as you can, and then wash it down with water. That's for preventative. At the first sign of a cold or flu symptom, you may want to do that three times a day for two to three days and then a lot of times the symptoms disappear. So oil of oregano, big big seller in health food stores right now uh, during what's going on. The other thing is vitamin C. Vitamin C over here is huge. Now a lot of people are, are you know Everybody's reading the internet right now and they're coming in with all these protocols. Some people are taking 300 milligrams, some people more. I tell people take anywhere from 500 milligrams to 1,000 to keep you nice and healthy. It'll keep your immune system up, a great antioxidant. So yeah, a good uh, vitamin C supplement is good. As is, as we all know, vitamin D that is selling like crazy. So lots of vitamin D. I say two to 4,000 international units per day is very good for mood, it's good for immune system and good for bone health. Uh, other things that people are coming in for right now, I haven't looked too much into these, these protocols that people are taking, but magnesium, as usual, is very, very high in sales right now. Um, and I always suggest by magnesium bisglycinate, that is the one that is very highly absorbed and also very gentle on the stomach. Um, another thing is NAC, great antioxidant, good for lung health and respiratory. So NAC, uh, acetyl L-cysteine, very popular stuff. 
Um, I got two or three more supplements here. Glutathione, I've seen a few things. This is a great antioxidant to protect the body. Uh, glutathione is very popular in certain protocols for this virus that's going around. And one of the last things that a lot of naturopaths I, I've known are recommending clients to take is, in, well, this is Immune 7 by Purica. You can take a lot of different formulations, but it's the mushroom formulas where you have three or more mushrooms. This one has seven different mushrooms, so it's very good for stress, it's good for fatigue, but it's also fantastic for your immune system. Something else I forgot to grab here uh, to set aside is zinc lozenges. A lot of people are taking zinc lozenges because zinc is naturally good for your immune system and um, yeah, it's very good for sore throats in the lozenge form. But I do recommend a lot of people don't take the lozenges, take the pills anywhere from 25 milligrams to 50 milligrams. It's going to be a little bit more therapeutic on your body. Uh, to help, you know, that immune system. So that's kind of been my little health supplement tip for the day. There's a lot of supplements, and I'm sure if you're doing your research, you may know of some I haven't mentioned here, and that's cool. Put them down in the uh, comments section, and uh, I can see what you guys are taking to stay nice and healthy. And yeah, I mean, crazy time right now in health food stores, and in Canada and the US, and in certain parts of Europe, uh, yeah, it, it's been crazy, and I'm sure we are going to see a lot more crazy stuff. So that's been my health supplement tip for the day, and uh, hopefully our health food stores stay open. You can come on in and get some stuff to keep nice and healthy. I'm Shane Chocha saying stay healthy, stay motivated, and I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later.